safety took center stage today in an address by Mayor Adams as he marked his first 100 days in office. He made a pledge to fight crime, and he spoke directly to family members of the crime victims who were in the crowd, including the family of Michelle Goh, who was pushed to her death in front of an oncoming subway train. All this as the chairman of the MTA announced a plan to crack down on fare evaders in the subway, a move he says will help stop crime. We have live team coverage tonight. Alice Gaynor explains the fare evasion plan, but we begin with political reporter Marsha Kramer and the vision the mayor laid out today. Marsha. Well, Dick, um, Mayor Adams admitted that his first 100 days were not easy for him or for the city he was elected to run. The Bronx fire, the killing of two police officers, and the senseless violence on the streets and on the subways. But with his trademark swagger and bravado, he promised that ELA, as he referred to himself, Eric Leroy Adams, was going to fix it. the historic King's Theater to the strains of New York, New York, the place he would have been inaugurated if a COVID surge hadn't made it impossible. And despite the turmoil of his first 100 days in office, he made it clear there was no place he'd rather be. I feel sorry for people that live in a small town and don't live in New York. Yes, crime has proved to be a difficult foe to defeat. The seven major crime categories, including murder, rape, robbery, and assault, are up nearly 43 percent since he took office. People are still dying from gun violence. It breaks my heart over and over. It keeps me up night after night. And being the mayor of Swagger, he allowed himself a moment to brag about his new policing policies. Listen to this, New Yorkers. People are asking what your police department is doing. We remove 2,300 illegal guns off our street. But that hasn't stopped the gun violence. People pushed to their death on the subway tracks. And so the mayor did something unusual. He brought some of the families who lost loved ones to his speech and personally vowed to them to fix things. I can only imagine the loss you feel and the pain you live with. But I will not rest until we have addressed the conditions that led to that loss. We will do what is necessary to make all of our communities safe. You have my word as a former police officer, a fellow New Yorker, and as your mayor. But the mayor didn't focus just on crime. He talked about improving the schools, repairing the pandemic ravaged economy, helping the homeless, building affordable housing, and developing programs that meet the needs of people in all five boroughs, in community after community. And he talked about his vision for the city he wants to leave behind at the end of his term. A city that empowers people to live their best possible lives with access to green space, healthy food, and preventive health care. A city that is inclusive, fair, and responsive to those who call it home. A city that inspires and welcomes all the world. And since it was, after all, Eric Adams the showman, he did say he was interested in getting this, possibly getting a tattoo, mm. after he spotted someone in the audience with an impressive one. <laughs> the mayor also talked about his proposed new budget. And I'll have that story coming up at 6, and we'll still have to ask him if he's going to get a tattoo. And what the tattoo yeah. will be. And that's, that's a question. whole other thing. And he also said he was going to get a nose ring two weeks ago, so I guess we're going to... Well, he is the mayor of Swagger, so he there you go. We have a whole new look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. Thanks, Marsha. Thank you.